extensor pollicis longus tendon rupture. Here you can see the tendons of the extensor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis, and abductor pollicis longus. Located on the dorsal side of the forearm, the extensor pollicis longus muscle inserts into the base of the distal phalanx of the thumb. The extensor pollicis longus tendon is responsible for extension of the thumb's distal interphalangeal joint. When a rupture of the extensor pollicis longus tendon occurs, the patient will experience a loss of thumb extension. The tendon is most commonly ruptured due to fractures of the distal radius. Rupture is more common in undisplaced fractures compared to displaced fractures. The extensor pollicis longus muscle is innervated by the posterior interosseous nerve, which branches from the radial nerve. It is important to determine if loss of thumb extension is due to tendon rupture or interruption of the posterior interosseous nerve. The tendon is prone to rupture and increased friction distal to the extensor retinaculum at the Lister's tubercle. The rupture is more common with undisplaced fracture due to ischemic rupture or attrition. Rupture of the extensor pollicis longus tendon usually occurs between 3 weeks to 3 months after injury. Treatment Repair of the tendon In rare cases when the rupture is acute, a palmaris longus graft may be used to bridge a gap. The rupture may also be treated with a tendon transfer. Transfer of the extensor indesis proprius tendon to the extensor pollicis longus tendon may be done for a treatment of a repair. Oh, this is not good. I'm the thumb wrestling champion. I better call the doctor. Hello, doctor. I'm having a problem with my thumb. Can you take a look at it? Come right away. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.